A search continues tonight for a man suspected of murder. Ty Hoffman is charged in the gas station killing of his ex-boyfriend three weeks ago. He's also suspected of robbing a bank on Sunday. With the manhunt approaching one month, the reward money for Hoffman's capture grows. It's now up to $25,000. But what exactly does it take to get that reward money? Good question. John Lordson shows us where the money comes from and how often rewards are paid out. How would you like to get $25,000? I'd love it. It's the current reward for tracking down a man who has eluded police for nearly a month. Ty Hoffman is accused of killing his former boyfriend, Kelly Phillips. And the longer he's on the run, the bigger the reward for his capture. Any idea who pays for that? No. No idea at all. Probably, I would assume the police. Yeah, a lot of times the first thousand dollars will come from Crime Stoppers and then as the information gets out to people from the public. Hennepin County Sheriff Rich Standing says most law enforcement agencies have a partnership with Crime Stoppers, a nonprofit organization that takes tips on cases and gets the reward money started. Money is always a great motivator. Money talks. The majority of the money actually comes from donations, friends, family, even complete strangers. Do you know what you have to do to get that money? No. I probably wouldn't want to know. I think you'd either have to tell them where he is or you'd have to give him a very good lead to find him. When a tip comes in, the caller is given an identification number. And if their tip leads to an arrest or conviction, Police let Crime Stoppers know. And we turn that information over to Crime Stoppers. They objectively, through their own board of directors, make a determination about the, uh, uh, the payout. Sometimes the money is divided up between people. Sometimes some is given to a tipster to help them relocate for safety reasons. But Stanick says the entire amount usually isn't paid out to just one person. It really just depends at the end of the day. The state of Minnesota actually has a special fund for cold cases, where the reward money is often $50,000 or more. The unsolved murder case of 11-year-old Kevin Brewer in 2000 is now at $150,000. The more money that's uh, put towards it, usually a higher rate of, uh, of success at the end of the day. And the sheriff told us if all the money is not paid out, the remaining money usually stays in a revolving fund, and then that goes forward to help with other cases. If you have a good question, you can email us by going to wcco.com links.